My name is uh, Marina Angelikela. I come from Tanzania. Uh, Tanzania is within East Africa, and it is the house of uh, the highest mountain in Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro. And you are welcome to visit Tanzania and climb my Mount Kilimanjaro. I graduated from the only public medical university in Tanzania, which is called the Muhimbili University of Health and Allied Health Sciences in 1993. And uh, after that, I continued working in different hospitals in Tanzania until 1998, when I had an opportunity to travel to Japan to pursue my PhD studies in Japan. I studied in Japan for four and a half years, and I completed my studies in 2003 I received my PhD in cardiovascular physiology. I'm currently a senior lecturer and the chair of the Department of Physiology at Muhimbili Medical University in Tanzania. Soon after the completion of my PhD in Japan, I returned home in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania to join hands with other academicians in the country to train medical doctors in Tanzania. Currently, our doctor-patient ratios is so bad uh, to the range of between 30,000 and 50,000 people per one doctor. So we really need to train more doctors in Tanzania. Uh, this uh, really was one of the forces which made me uh, have this potential to go back in Tanzania. However, uh, after I started working in my university, being trained in Japan in very high sophisticated type of researches, I started to feel the uh, challenges of teaching and conducting basic science research. First of all, I could not continue working in the uh, genetic studies which I was doing in Japan uh, due to limitation in uh, capacity in my university as well as due to limitation in instruments and machines to conduct such high level of research. So I tried to change uh, my uh, focus and focused more on epidemiological research which uh, currently I've been working to since I returned home in 2003. For example, uh, currently, I'm doing cardiovascular risk factor assessment uh, type of research, uh, such as assessing uh, metabolic risk factors like uh, glucose levels as well as lipid uh, profile, and uh, also uh, evaluating or assessing some modifiable risk factors such as dietary factors, smoking, as well as physical activity. This type of research, which has led to uh, publications in peer-reviewed journal, has not been done very well in Tanzania in the previous years. And uh, to me, it brings in another era of uh, creating awareness among the general population in Tanzania on what are the risk factors which may lead to non-comedicable diseases, especially cardiovascular disease in Tanzania. And also, uh, by conducting this type of research, it will pave way to uh, more sophisticated research, for example, studying the genetic predisposition of these chronic diseases among people of African descent and see what are the improvements which could be made. For example, if we find out that people are sensitive to salt, then it will be easier for us as scientists to uh, 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 advise people to uh, protect themselves from eating high salt uh, diets. Apart from the limitation in research, when I came back home, another limitation which I faced was the issue of teaching resources. For example, when I went back home, I found that there were uh, physiology books, but which were one or two editions older than the books I was using in Japan. And this make our, our teaching a bit difficult. So it is very important, I think, uh, for addressing these issues in terms of uh, collaborations. I have seen some of my young outstanding colleagues who failed to come back to Africa because they are wondering 
what are they going to do after they receive this very high tech uh, research in developed uh, uh, country. Personally, I don't blame uh, such a move, but I think there are ways which we African researchers could work it out with our uh, partners in developed country to address the issue of improving basic science research in African universities. The best way uh, I feel to address this challenge is through partnerships and collaborations. If we collaborate with uh, uh, universities in Europe and uh, USA, we will build our capacity, but at the same time we will share resources such as instruments and machines to conduct basic science research. For example, in my university, we have started a collaboration with the Institute of Global Health at the University of uh, California, San Francisco, which has facilitated us to review our old curriculum into a more competence-based curriculum, which will lead to uh, uh, helping uh, us to uh, have a very good uh, type of medical education and have well uh, uh, built or uh, increased capacity in our students. In addition to that, uh, the Muhimbili University has also uh, conducted some few basic science research uh, in various fields in biochemistry, uh, pharmacology, as well as microbiology, and this uh, has appeared in uh, several peer-reviewed articles in the uh, PubMed. So, for example, currently we are conducting a vac HIV AIDS vaccine trial in collaboration with Karolinska University in Sweden. Apart from uh, uh, across continent collaborations, I think within Africa collaborations is also important in pursuing uh, basic science research and also inter-university collaborations because you find in one university you have instruments and machine belonging to one project and if this could be shared across the university by various basic science researchers, I think we can very much improve our research capacity in basic sciences. So it's my prayer uh, to my fellow scientists in Africa as well as scientists in, in developed countries that uh, we really need to share across the continents, share across universities so that to build more the capacity of research in basic sciences in Africa and which will further increase the number of academicians working in uh, African university and uh, overall increase in the output of basic science research in Africa.